trust Jeremiah. Everything is going to be okay. And I know you're in a lot of pain. Migraines are absolutely horrible, horrible things. And what I would like you to do is listen to the sound of my voice and follow my instructions and not try to resist. What we resist persists. We're not going to try to force ourselves into comfort. We can't do that. So what we're going to do is focus on relaxation, meditation, and no resistance. Okay? Wonderful. So first thing, let's make sure we're in a cool, dim, or dark room. We don't want to have bright lights. We don't want to have loud noises. We want to be in a cool, dark room. We want to make sure that we're hydrated. So, note when the last time was that you had a sip of water. And if it's been a moment, go ahead and join me with a sip of cool, refreshing water. if there's any place in your body right now that may be holding tension. And that could be, is your hair up or pulled back in a ponytail? If it is, release that. We want to have nothing pulling on or constricting us. If you're wearing tight, restrictive clothing, Try to put on something loose, okay, and something flowing. We just, we want to avoid tension right now, okay. And now that that's done, we want to make sure that if your arms are crossed or if your legs are crossed, uncross your arms or your legs. Good. Good. And other little things that may help. I'm sure you've probably already taken Motrin, Excedrin. I believe there's even Tylenol for migraines. Those can absolutely help. And I would recommend partaking other small things that can help if you normally or habitually drink caffeine sometimes a small amount can help ease some of the pain you're feeling you don't want to have too much though especially if it's in the afternoon or evening where it may affect your sleeping schedule. Some things we can do as preventative maintenance are before the migraine begins, getting regular sleep. A lack of sleep can trigger a migraine. Stress can trigger a migraine. Um, too much, too much caffeine, too much alcohol, all these things can trigger a migraine. Um, an inconsistent diet 
can possibly trigger a migraine. So these are preventative steps. Um, if you regularly experience migraines, you may even want to do a food journal and just just keep track of what you ate that day. It doesn't have to be anything complex. And then note what you ate and when you had your migraine. There may be a pattern and there may not. But bringing our attention back to right here and right now. Look at me. It's going to be okay. And it hurts. And it's going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to get through this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You know that, right? Good. And you know you're strong and powerful. And you can handle a lot. Yeah. Now, in a moment, not just yet, but in a moment, I'm going to have you close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, you're going to instantly feel a sense of calm wash over your body. Ready? Look up. Look up at the sky. And start to close your eyes while looking up. Close your eyes down, 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 down. Now, leave your eyes closed. And bring your attention to your breathing. Just notice this gentle, rhythmic breathing in the nose and out the mouth. And notice how any sounds you may hear it may be in the background will only lead you deeper and deeper into relaxation. You're doing great. And as you listen to the sound of my voice, we're going to count to three. And when you get to three, you're going to be ten times, a hundred times a thousand times as relaxed as you are right now. One, two, three, all the way down, ten, a hundred, a thousand times more relaxed. And enjoy this moment of relaxation relaxation, this deep peace and calm that you're currently experiencing. And in a moment, not just yet, but in a moment, I'm going to have you gently open your eyes. And every time you close your eyes, you're going to be ten times as relaxed as you are right now. And we're going to gently open your eyes gently up and back down all the way down deeper into relaxation. And eyes up, eyes up, and back down.
you're here enjoying this deep calm of relaxation, focus on the tip of your head for a moment and allow relaxation to start melting over you. It's slow. of resistance to acceptance. In fact, we're going to do something a little strange. You're going to make friends with your migraine. You're going to make friends with your migraine. it and notice 
notice how in this deep state of relaxation you can almost put a shape and characteristics to your migraine. Imagine your own inner spirit gently rising up from your body. And the spirit, of course, has no pain, only pure love and light. And that spirit, your spirit, your inner spirit, imagine it looking down on you. And imagine it looking down on you as your body, your physical body, is floating floating in that warm, healing water while your spirit floats above and smiles down. And your spirit is able to recognize the spirit of the migraine. And from your spirit, say hi migraine spirit, welcome it toward you. Welcome that pain and that suffering toward you. Offering it friendship from away from your physical body to the spiritual self floating above that is pure love and pure light. Gently imagine that spirit you gesturing to your migraine to follow me. Follow me. Follow me. And imagine you can see that migraine like a gray away from your head as your loving spirit self gently asks it to join. Follow me. Follow me. And the cloud of gray and dark matter that is the migraine is floating up, being welcomed by the spirit self, your inner self, and you have no intention of harming it. You're just welcoming it away from your body for a moment. Follow me. Everything's going to be okay. You don't need to be right there inside that human form. Imagine now that that migraine is floating next to the spirit self. And the spirit self, your inner self, doesn't have any hatred or animosity any more than you could be angry at a cat for chasing a mouse than you could be angry at a fish for swimming in the sea. The migraine, it simply, it does what it does. There's no rhyme or reason. So there's nothing to be angry at. There's nothing to fight. It simply does what it does. And we don't want to resist. Imagine your spirit self actually petting, gently and kindly petting that migraine. And notice as your spirit 
spirit self, pets, this migraine that the migraine has gently started to transform into a dog or a cat or a puppy or a kitten. And you can just keep gently the migraine starting to relax, your calm, warm energy is causing the migraine to let go and to relax. spirit self now, just gently resting there, because it was afraid that it needed to fight, and you were afraid that you needed to fight, when in fact there is no fight, there is no in order to. self to look down upon you, the physical body floating, drifting, dreaming. Smile. Allow the spirit self to smile at the physical. And when it's ready, whenever you want, Self to start floating back into the physical. So calmly and gently, just floating back down like a perfect feather floating back and forth on the breeze until that fluffy feather gently touches down. touches down on your body, a warm sensation starts to pull through you, and that warm, loving sensation
します。